grandparents pulling the grandchildren. Nothing like the Event and Adventure 2 out on a nice fall day in the 60s pulling the grandkids. E-bikes for senior citizens. <laughs> yeah, honey, we getting there. We not far from senior citizens. I'm a couple years ahead of you, but... Three. Gina, how do you like your event and adventure too? The torque sensor makes all the difference, don't it? I'm in tour mode, about seventh gear, and I'm riding eight miles an hour. Now, if he was on a cadence sensor bike, you'd have to be in PSA, PAS1. That's what I love about torque sensors. Pulling a swing, huh? Pulling a swing. Two-seater that's been converted to a one-seater. We about collided. I'm in tour mode, running eight miles an hour, seven. I can pedal all the way down to one if I wanted to. That's what I love about torque sensors. For all you parents out there, one good thing about these child trailers, all it takes is about a quarter of a mile to knock them right out. If they're fighting sleep, Put them in the trailer. They'll make it a make it around the block, and that's about it. They're out. He had been fighting sleep. Weston there had been fighting sleep about the past two hours, maybe three. wasn't gonna go to sleep. Tried swinging, everything. He just wasn't gonna do it. Didn't even make the block. He's out. What I favor the torque sensor over the cadence sensor is this right here. Is I don't have to switch in and out of different modes, different PAS levels. I can stay right here in tour mode, which would be PS, PAS 2. And I can stay right here all day long. I can ride one mile an hour, I can ride 28 miles an hour, it don't matter. That's what the torque sensor is for. Just like pedaling a real bike, we're in a cadence sensor. If you was in PSA, PAS2, and started pedaling it, it would take you right to that level it's set for or mile per hour it's made to ride at. For the torque sensor, it's not like that. It's how much effort you put in is how fast you go, just like a normal real bike. And if you're older, and wondering about an e-bike especially if you want the exercise you definitely want to get the torque sensor nothing wrong with the cadence sensor they're great bikes too but we mainly bought ours to exercise with so that's why we went with the torque sensors just a smoother ride ain't got to go back and forth out of PAS levels
And if you're wondering about the size, that's a regular frame. Step through. How tall are you, Gina? How tall are you? How tall am I? Five, five. Five, five. She's got a zoom seat post. For the suspension. These bikes don't have rear suspension, but why waste six or seven hundred dollars when you can spend fifty bucks, maybe eighty dollars for a well named brand seat post suspension? It'll ride just like a rear post suspension. If you're not up in the mountains doing mountain bike riding, it's really more or less a waste of money when a seat post suspension will do the same. We added a couple of seat post suspension to ours. She got the zoom. I got the Sun Tour, and they ride just as smooth as any. Y'all subscribe because I've got a Juiced Hyper Scrambler 2 coming in. Going to be reviewing. I also have a another bike that I the company reached out and wanted me to review that I'll be reviewing soon I'll wait and tell you the name once it gets here to make sure it gets here but it's going to be a 20 inch wheel step through folding bike So if you're wondering how to put your kids to sleep when they don't want to go to sleep, right there is your remedy. Buy you a Swin trailer. That and we got at Walmart for about $100, I guess. And it knocks them right out, even when they don't want to go to sleep. Puts them right out. Let me show you here. Yeah. He's out like a light. He didn't last five minutes. See y'all in the next one.